Hey guys, so what we're going to do today is we are going to do a lab slash demo and we are going to determine the molar mass of butane. What we're going to use to do that is a cigarette lighter. So most of you probably know that inside the cigarette lighter um, is butane. So we want to release it out, but in order to get the molar mass, we know that the molar mass equation is mass over moles. So we can mass um, how much butane we, we can use fairly easily, similar to how we did in the gas lab that you did earlier this week. Uh, but the hard part is going to be uh, calculating the number of moles. Um, it's not as easy to do it in syringe, so what we're going to do to calculate how much gas we have is collect the gas over water. Now we talked about this the other day when we did partial pressure. Remember, partial pressure is um, a, a certain amount of the total pressure, all the pressures added together give you the total pressure. So a partial pressure is the pressure of one of the gases that's in the container. Um, when we collect gas over water, we know that when we collect the gas, the only gases that are going to be up there are going to be the gas itself that we're measuring, but there's also going to be some water vapor up in, inside the container that we collect um, the gas over. So. Alright guys, I wanted y'all to be able to see this part really well, so um, I'm putting the camera down at the bin of water. Um, so what we're going to use is we have a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, basically taking the stand off um, so that we can use it better. Um, and we are going to collect the butane gas over water that's in the cylinder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill water in here and then I'm going to lift it vertically with this completely being filled with water. While this is underwater, I'm going to stick the butane lighter under there and release the gas under here. Now gas is lighter than water so it's going to lift up to the top. Um, then we'll get gas up there and it will be butane gas and water vapor. So. Um, without further ado, um, now I've measured, um, to measure the mass of the lighter, I want to, um, and I have dunked it underwater and pressed the button um, to get any water in there that is going to, going to add to the mask, and then I've dried it as best I can. I did this for the reason that when I actually do stick it under there um, to release the butane, there is going to be water that's going to get trapped in there, but hopefully by doing it initially, I've eliminated as much error as I can that's going to be caused by that. So, um, our mass of our lighter is going to be, um, isn't it funny how different I get answers, um, 13.90 grams. Again, 13.90 grams in our butane lighter. So, what we're going to do is, oh, and I should also give you the temperature of the water um, is 25.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the water is 25.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, let's, um, we're going to dip the cylinder into the water, filling it completely with water. That way when we lift it up, like so, Everything in there is water. You can see there's no bubble at the top. It's all water. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my butane lighter under the cylinder and I'm going to press the button and hold it down. And as you can see, there are bubbles um, going up into the cylinder. Um, those bubbles are butane gas, but we know that that's not the only thing that's getting trapped up there. It's the butane gas along with any water vapor um, that is coming from the liquid water and going up there because we know we always have water vapor um, over any water surface due to evaporation and other things. So this might take a while, um, but as you can see, um, it's filling up pretty quickly. Now, I can't just do this much. This is not enough. What I need is I need, in order to know what the total pressure inside this cylinder is of the gases inside, the only way I can do that really accurately is to make sure that the water level inside the cylinder is even and level with the water level of the water in this tub. If I do that, I then know that the atmospheric pressure outside of this um, tub and pushing down on the water that's in this tub is actually going to be equal to the total pressure that's inside this cylinder. That's because they're both pushing just as hard so they balance out kind of like a seesaw. 
So I need to add enough gas and still be able to get the volume, but enough gas um, that the water level of what's inside the cylinder is going to equal the water level of the bin. So I'll continue doing this. Um, it might take a second and my fingers are starting to hurt. Alright guys, so we're almost there. Um, our water level is almost where I can make it uh, equal to the level in the bin. So I am going to remove the butane lighter and as you can see I can lower it. Um, and I'm actually going to tell you what the um, actual volume is. I'm measuring from the bottom of the meniscus. Um, it's hard to do upside down. Uh, it is 35 to 40, so those are going by ones. 43.1 1. milliliters. Um, that way when I hold it there, um, that's where it's level with the water, so I know that the pressure outside here is actually equal to the total pressure inside here. So um, I've measured it and the pressure outside right in this room today is 30.06 inches of mercury. So if that's the pressure out here we know that's also the total pressure that's inside there. So on your sheet where it says barometric pressure we're going to put 30.06 inches of mercury. You're actually going to have to convert that um, to at least millimeters of mercury to get it right. Um, so we have our volume. We know the temperature we stated earlier was 25.5 degrees Celsius. We know our pressure. Um, so with R and the ideal gas law, we are going to be able to calculate how many moles of gas we have inside. Now, I'm going to release this. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to dry off our lighter so that we can get how much butane we actually use. We measured it before. Um, placing it under the um, graduated cylinder and now we're going to do it after and that value, let me shake it, make sure, oop, yep, I get some more out. So our final mass of our lighter is 13.79 grams. The final mass of the lighter is 13.79 grams. Alright guys, so we've done all the data collecting that we need, um, but I'm just going to give you a couple tips with working through um, the lab itself. Um, so number one, calculate the mass of butane, a simple subtraction. Um, determine the vapor pressure of water at the experiment's temperature in ATM. So we measured the temperature of the water, and from the purple sheet, you're going to calculate what the vapor pressure of water would be for water at that temperature. Um, calculate the partial pressure of butane. Um, that's a simple partial pressure problem and the hint is given there. Um, if the conditions were changed to be a STP, remember STP is one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius, what would your volume change to? Assume no loss of gas. You use one of the equations we've learned um, to be able to solve that. Then number five, calculate the number of moles of butane gas expelled into the graduated cylinder using your calculated STB volume. Assume that one mole of butane has a volume of 22.4 liters at STP. Remember, we learned that. When something's at STP, we have that nice little conversion factor that one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. So now that you've got it to STP, and you know how you can calculate how many moles you have, which you can quickly uh, transfer to liters. Now, number six, you're actually going to start as if you were back at number three. So four and five are one way of solving this problem, and six is another way. So you could have solved this problem using four and five. Now we're going to do it another way. In number six, you're going to calculate the number of moles of butane expelled into the graduated cylinder using the idea ga ideal gas law and your original measured values. Okay? That's why in number seven, it says compare your calculated number of moles of butane from questions five and six. Fully explain any differences or similarities. Eight, calculate your ex experimental molar mass of butane. Remember, molar mass is mass over moles. 
9, given that butane's molecular formula is C4H10, calculate the accepted molar mass of butane. I should not have to give you any hints on that one. Um, calculate the percentage error of the experiment. That equation is also on your purple sheet. And what are possible sources of error in this experiment? Explain how each would have affected your results and could be the main source of error. And which one of those could be the main source of error. So, um, that should be good. Um, if there's any dire questions, you can email me. Um, but, good luck. Molar mass of butane.